Greetings, everybody. Strategic Sage here. Thanks for joining me. Creeper World 4 continues as we must now investigate the Tower of Darkness. And that looks rather imposing. What is light without the dark? Preacher's gonna blab first. Dr. Seloy, complete I am now. Messages have I for you. The friends looked and looked for you. Lost you were, but they looked. Traveling through time, as do you. So we're talking about the prophets from the ancestral original human civilization, as we read about in the experiment. Each jump they missed, eventually they stopped so that you might find them. Left for you something they did, find you must. Praise be the founders! Okay, we have to talk a bit about the absurdity of this, because it, it's nonsense. These prophets going through time, trying to find Dr. Seloy, and they jump, and they jump, and they jump, and they miss. So they clearly don't know, they don't have any clue where we're going, what we're doing. I mean, like grasping at straws at best. And they just leave clues for us to find? But we read in some of the other history, like the Archon one, for example, that there's thousands and thousands of inhabited worlds. So, I mean... Did they leave something in all of them? How do they know where we're going to be? The idea that we just happen upon this by accident, it's insanity. In any case, what does the ADA have to say? Integrating additional modules from Ceremonial Archive, complete and rebooting. Hello, Dr. Seloy. Logs indicate a period of instability. Patches have been applied that bypass and corrected faulty subsystems should operate within normal parameters. Okay, so the computer's fixed. That's some positive news been broken for, I don't know, 10 missions, something like that, maybe more. Logs indicate a series of jumps, none that conform to Mars, no kidding, this is like not Mars mission number 14 at this point. Um, can't follow mission protocols or return to Mars, so I await your instructions. At least that's a reasonable, like, decision. And praise be the founders, I believe that's the first time the ADA itself has said that. Traveler, there is great darkness on this world. A dark tower dominates this place. Our implements of negotiation cannot operate within the darkness. This won't do. Hippie, you only have one note, but boy, do you pound that thing every chance you get. We need beacons of light to lift the darkness. Only then can we continue. Perhaps our other friend has something? What does Sarge have to say? Is he even around? Oozing with respect. Foolish One has requested assistance. Dark Towers prevent victory. Beacon enabled. Can remove dark field. Nullification of dark tower will permanently remove dark field. So as Danu notes down here, we need to use the beacons to get into the dark area so that we can get rid of the tower. And Sarge says nullification of all threats on this world is required, but this time he's actually right. As opposed to before when he just said, yep, you need to nullify everything. Gotta get rid of it all. And then at the four corners here, we have a totem. We'll need to grab all of those. And we need to collect the info cache that's down here with the read-on. No ore up there, but we do have green ore in this corner. So everything is spread out that we're going to need. And we're starting in the lower left. I'm beginning to think that there's some sort of ritual that requires us to start in the lower left. As many missions as we're doing that on. Resource terrain, buried urns. And then we have these absorber islands. And notably, they're much closer and more numerous in the northeast. Because this is going to be our launching point later on, access point for the final attack. Now, whether we're talking about in here or out here, there is no direct source of creeper on this map. It's five deep everywhere. We've got the Dark Tower, we've got skimmers, spore launchers, of course the breeder terrain here is really going to be responsible for creating most of the resistance from a creeper standpoint. And then we have the blob nest, 30 seconds each. Now, thankfully the way they're set up is to go to predictable locations, one to each corner island. That still means one is coming over here, and it's going to come here before we can actually get a sniper up to deal with it. So, we've got to do something a little bit unusual. And much easier once you've experimented with a level and know where it's coming, of course, than it would be on a dry run. I'm going to throw the cannon up here. And they're targeted just to get on the land and then deposit their load of creeper. So we're starting to get some energy up here just a bit. 
can probably start now gradually extending our network. And here comes the blob. Doing its thing. And our cannon will eliminate all residual effects there. So, we're looking pretty good on getting our energy network out. Let's move you down here. I do want to throw up Sniper there as soon as that clears up. A couple more of these. And get you in place. And let's build some miners. Escalate our economy. There we go. Now, it's worth considering that what are we going to do about spores? There's no redon nearby. If we try to make an AC blanket, the elevation changes are too severe. So really, I'm going to just want to spam cannons, which would not be my first choice, but I mean, what else are we going to do? And then we're going to want to get Terp up first for the buried urns, per usual. And in the Archon mission, a couple missions back, we talked about Terps and what they get as a bonus when they get the urns, and they actually do not use less energy, so I was misinformed by that. I regret that, but in the end, it doesn't really make much difference. How much energy you're going to spend on Terps usually anyway? And also in the first packs, there are going to be some changes to what bonuses some units, including the Terp, get from urns. So it's possible by the time you see this video that that will have already changed. Whenever that does come about, I will do a patch update video explaining what all of those adjustments are. But, as it is, consider that the correction for this particular video. Now, I'm just throwing these all over the place because I need to make sure, especially that they're hanging out right by all these key structures. I'm going to put one more. We are going to need to use more of them later, so it's not a huge thing if I overbuild now. And then we're going to slide you over here. The first group of urns I want to use for range and rate, per usual. Build speed is not usual. But we're going to have to pile on out to some long ranges away to get to the other islands. We're going to be moving around the map a lot. So, by getting the build speed, we can increase how quickly we get these pylons up. And if a missile hits one of these islands and the pylon is built on it, the pylon will be fine. It will actually absorb the creeper from the spore, not the missile. But uh, that will be just fine, so we don't have to be concerned about it. We're going to move out here with pylons as well. And let's also add a move speed, because I'm going to want to move our weapons around also with the same amount of distance needing to be covered, naturally. While all that is coming down on us, I'm also going to want to get some snipers. There's a skimmer going back here. Doing its thing. And let's throw these this way. That should work. Let's get a couple mortars. Then do three in each direction. And it looks like that's about all I'm going to want to do for building at the moment. Oh, here comes an egg, which is actually a very opportune, instructive bit here. Yeah, we're going to run slow or low on energy for just a hair. But partly because of that, I want to move connections out here. I want to shoot the eggs from further away, basically. We will get a bit of energy from these, but that's not the main reason for doing it. Let's throw cannons. Just to be double sure we're safe out here. And if I put 
the snipers out here a little bit more. Then they will essentially extend our defensive radius. I did want to earn one each in these mortar groups. So let's do that. And let's get them sent out to islands nearby. Here where they can begin to prep for our assault. And here comes more of that, but I think we're ready for it. I am going to wait, though. I want to build more cannons. I'm just going to hold on and wait till this lands. This is a good example of seeing the absorber effect. Looks like our pylon's in trouble. But it actually absorbs it quick enough. The pylon almost is destroyed, but not quite. So very nicely done. Okay, let us bring over now some cannons there and some cannons here. I'm going to want to pile on a connection. Hopefully that'll hold till those cannons show up. And of course I'm definitely going to want to replace these cannons quickly before we get hit again from the air. I think that will do just nicely. Okay. So I should be able to land now. Extra mortars. Let's make sure we get a nice connection here as well. That will do. Land mortars here. And you as well. And I just want them to be in a situation where they don't get overrun. And they have energy. Anything else I can deal with later. So it looks like we're set on that. Let's make our landing. And let's take the Redon Island, but more importantly, the Info Cache Island. For the glory of humanity. I do want to be a little bit careful in my expansion here. Because, yep, that's exactly why right there, actually. Right on cue, Mr. Egg. I don't know how many eggs are over here. Out of the 46 or so and here comes a skimmer gonna make my life miserable I'm sure yep and there we go we are nice and stunned and here comes a blob we're not gonna be in time for that blob toting an egg nonetheless but we're going to get a sniper up. Let's just let's just hold here and wait for that to yeah. We don't need to be in any particular rush to charge into all that fun. That's probably a bit premature. Let's just move up along here. I want to hold one back. And there's our info cache. Great patience leads to great works. A treasure of technology has been recovered. Info cache contains the knowledge of the micro rift. I heard stories of its wonders. Really? From where? From who? From when? Will you ever explain this? Hint, no you will not. Capable of transporting packets between each instance. If that isn't peaceful perfection, nothing is. Build one near your lab, then another in an ancient land. So these micro rifts are indeed excellent. And it is important as well to build two at least. You see one does no good, packets travel between them, and very important to get the one by your lab because otherwise you waste a lot of their potential. They'll just move from the rift lab to whatever micro rift further away. So, another nice benefit of the micro rift beyond that is, you may recall we talked in an earlier video about the fact that you're towers are slightly less efficient the further they get away. Well, the micro rift extends that efficiency bonus that the rift hab has. Pylons do too, but not nearly as much. It's a very small effect with them. So, the end result of all this is that my towers on this island 
with a micro rift on it will be much more efficient than they would have been if I didn't put it up. On the other hand, these are expensive, as you probably saw, 20 ARG. So if we're going to be spending all of our read-on on that, that means our read-on is not going to be spent. Hold on a moment, see what this does. There we go. But it's not going to be spent on missiles, and we lost something. Over here. We did not quite have our cannons in perfect positioning. Okay. Not a severe issue. We're just going to correct it and move on, but... A reminder that we are not quite yet safe, and we need to collect all the ARG that we can. So if we move you out, and you here, just sort of spread these around. Let's haul most of our mortars over this way. You can see this island virtually cleared out. Let's go ahead and pile on up a bit. And I think, yeah, that's going to work. Move you forward. And then while they're sort of taking that new territory, I want to extend my tower network here. Because we will need this energy in the future of this mission. We're good on it now, but things will change. Let's put you over here on the edge. Defending against any egg material that may decide it wants to come aboard. Okay. And you can come. All of that should be fine. We'll just move you slightly forward, make sure it is. And let's take over the next island. We have more eggs, so we don't want to get too crazy here and there's a blob I think we're out far enough to throw another sniper up here I don't remember did I build enough over here I did not I want another one easy to forget small things now we're gonna grab the green R that we will need for a liftic for all of the totem activations That should work. Forward. You can stay here. And we'll need another pylon here to connect to that. Let's get a tower, actually, in a moment. Should actually get my refineries up. Throw a couple of them up here, make sure we have no lack of liftic. And towers must go up. Of course, we will also want a micro rift over here. Make sure that we get all the things. A little fun to build around masses of units. This will work, and now we're going to want to extend our final little island hopping here. Let's make sure 
that would bring along some friends, namely the Earned Mortars. You can come. Snipers. That should be effective. And we're going to bring some of you as well. By the time you get there, because you've got to fly all the way over, we should be fine. In terms of clearing off the landing space. And I think we're pretty good there. Of course, we've got the totem in operation. Looking good here. Let's bring all of you over. We're only getting partial ammunition here, but that should be enough. And I want to start now building up beacons. We have plenty of Liftic. And these, once they're built, you actually don't even have to be connected to the network. They just sort of work autonomously. Now our big landing. Let's just put one maybe there in the middle. Move out with our cannons. Bring our more powerful urns aboard. We're having energy supply issues because we're sort of moving quicker than we can actually supply the micro rift connections. But actually, we've now achieved that. So hold on. A couple things I want to get done here. We are now in a position to build missiles. So let's do that. We have done well, other than the one casualties without it so far, but let's not tempt fate any further. You never know when that one gap might crop up. And then of course we're going to want a micro rift over here soon as well. The other thing I want to do is get my earned mortars over here right away. I want them to start pounding this island. Because the others are not going to have a great deal of range with which to accomplish it. Let's go ahead and pile on over here. So if they can be working on this while, and I'll just throw another regular one over here as well. If they can be working on this, oh doggone it. Okay. We're going to deal with all that too. We're going to throw up a sniper. But I want them to wear this down so we're ready to attack when I get done with over here is the main point. We'll just throw up a micro rift there so we have plenty of good support in this area when it comes time. And we will throw some more beacons in here. I'm going to want about 20 or so of them probably. Okay. So now let's continue with everybody else. Expanding our attack. Perhaps a missile launcher here, and one here. Just an egg sort of chilling out over there. Won't be chilling there for long. about 55k already so they're pounding that very effectively love what's going on there 
Actually, I should right now. So we don't need them anymore. Let's bring over. And there's a wonderful sound of missiles taking care of business. There goes that egg. Just working on getting everything prepared for our final attack. Go and throw up another sniper. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna want some more here. So, that's our totem activation objective. That's been achieved. All we have left is a nullifying. All we have left is the final attack. Nothing to it, right? It shouldn't actually be too much trouble if we don't make any egregious mistakes. And there's no need in piloting beyond the end of this island since we have micro rifts in place to supply us. So we don't have to connect down to the, what was it, the southeast one? You simply don't want to go away, so let's just come out here and make you. Just want to throw a final pylon up here and complete our work. Okay, with all that energy coming in place soon, I do want to switch over to blue white. Because with that breeder terrain on that central area, I'm going to want to throw some AC in there. Of course, in order to do that, I should have some more AC. And there's some other things I want to build up. Some of those. Let's get a couple missile launchers ready in case I want to pull them over. Oh, we're a little bit low on energy, so we'll just hold, but I'm going to want sprayers. Looking good now. I think about half a dozen sprayers is going to be good for the amount of blue light that we're going to get. I'm not going to switch any urns over to mining or anything. I want the urns where they are. What I want to be able to do is to move these beacons up now and you see the green is the area of operation that they're going to give us. These will get damaged in Creeper just like anything else. And they are not particularly durable. But I want to be able to move quickly onto the island. I want to be able to build quickly on the island. I think that will be useful to us in terms of our advance. Being able to establish a successful beachhead which we'll be looking at shortly. And then, of course, the mortar is always useful for the attack, so. Move these extra beacons in place. I would like to be a little bit away from this blob nest, so maybe I'll come over here. And I think maybe something like this. And sprayers as well. So the invasion has begun. And for sure we're gonna want pylons. Let's hope we can hold that spot. All of you go always on. The blob uh, took care of one of us. I was a little bit worried about that. So, nullifier. Let's put you up. We wanna get rid of that right away. Let's get our earned mortars over here. One more. Let's bring some of these mortars over onto the supporting islands. Ready to go forward. 
And then let's just gradually move out. I want to establish a perimeter of a little bit with the cannons. And I don't want to come in here yet. Let's move a couple beacons up further. But I don't want to come here yet with snipers. Start popping all these eggs. I want to establish a more secure thing here first. We're probably going to annoy some of them as it is. but And we are now charging reclaim. Yet our journey is far from over. Bring in more cannons. So, we are doing very well. I just want to continue expanding our territorial control. Another objective. We are not overly concerned about that yet. Let's throw a missile launcher over here. I think I'm ready for more of you. And some more pylons. Let's fairly liberally spread them around. So we have nullified one of nine. Still quite a work, or quite a ways to go rather. Quite a bit of work to do in that regard. Feeling pretty comfortable. We've got lots of mortars. We've got a good solid grasp. We're almost up to some of the breeder terrain. Okay. Now I'm ready to snipe. We need to be an egg killing machine now. What do I want more of? What would be useful here? I think I want more cannons. Just really like having them on the front lines. It wouldn't hurt to build uh, sprayers out a bit though as well. And here we go. 35 or so eggs. Move these beacons out a bit. Not too far. Yeah, this is getting pretty hazardous. 20 eggs left. Okay, we need to continue advancing now. Let's get you up there. I'd like to have another mortar over this way. A couple of them, I think. And let's pile on out further. Okay, I would like to take it to this dark tower here. If we can. Let's push out. Thirteen eggs left. They're mostly over here. I wonder if we can... I mean, popping them, is that going to really do us that much good? I don't know. But let's get our sniper out there and see if it'll do the task. Let's throw in another beacon this way. We're starting to be in need of those. You can see we're... We didn't really oversupply ourselves with them. We've got a couple of these breeder under our control. Yeah, this is still really close. Let's, let's wait to get some of those creeper from the eggs to subside. I 
Let's see if we can do this. We're not quite far enough that way. Ooh, we got a skimmer that did some very unpleasant things to us. Okay, it doesn't look like we quite made it over here. Let's let's just go after these two. The Dark Tower and the Skimmer. And then a separate one over here. I think that's going to be a better plan. And then I just need to keep pushing. Keep pushing out. These two are going fine. Let's work on you. So, we no longer need the beacons except this skimmer could still cause us problems. So I don't want to get rid of them until that's no longer a threat. But we're looking very good here. Continue the attack. I think this would be, this spore, more importantly, egg producer, would be a great target for us right about now. Let's throw some more firepower in your general direction. Right there. Let's expand this way. And if we can hold that, we can nullify here. And now we've got... They're not really getting much from their breeder terrain, if anything. Our AC is pretty much taking that over. So if I can, if we get this skimmer and this spore launcher, I think it's over. Because we're breeding so much AC now. This one right here. We're expanding this way. Let's set up a nullifier. Will this tower connect to make it quicker? And you have eggs, okay. You have eggs. So we need to snipe that. But that's it. The skimmer is out of commission, so I should be free to clean up things a bit by destroying all my beacons. There we go. Yep. All of this is uh, unhappy. And there goes our tower in a moment. But maybe not. Is it just going to survive? I think it is. Move forward. Clear the mess, everybody. That is our final objective. We have everything else. We just need this to go down. We have 10k AC, they have just over a thousand. Okay. Time for the victory lap. It almost looks like sand. It's like sand dunes with water on top of them, or it's it's weird the texture of this given the color of the ground. In any case, where there was darkness, now there is light. And let's get out of here. The Tower of Darkness has been defeated. The compound. And that's an interesting looking planet there with the you know the gray and the red. 
And whose compound? Are we attacking a compound? Or are they attacking a compound that holds something that we don't want them to get? What all is going on there? The adventure will continue next time as we inch closer to the end of the Farside Expedition. Thanks for watching, everybody.